Today we're going to take a look at how we can do some very basic binary reverse engineering with a tool called Ghidra. Here on my desktop we see that we have a binary file called password manager and if we try to run password manager we see we get some text saying welcome to Josh password manager and we should enter our master password. We'll type in test and we get an access denied this incident will be reported. So let's see if we can do some basic reverse engineering on this password manager binary file to see if we can get the hard-coded credentials. So the first thing we're gonna do is launch Ghidra from a command line by just typing in Ghidra. Once this is open, we're going to want to import the binary file. So we go to File, Import File, and then find the binary you want to import, in this case, Password Manager. It should automatically supply the format and language, and we're gonna change the program name to Password Manager Video for this video. Hit OK. And now we're going to select the binary we just imported and click this green dragon icon, which is going to open up Code Browser. You'll get a pop-up asking if you want to analyze the binary file, and we can click yes, and then just run the default and click analyze. And just the default display here is going to show the assembly of our password manager file. But what we want to do is take a look at the decompiled C pseudocode to see if we can look for that hard-coded password manager password. So to do that, over on the left here, we're going to want to drop down this functions folder under simple tree and look for the main function. Double click that and the decompile window will populate. And here we have the C pseudocode of this binary file. We can see the standard out saying welcome to Josh password manager and to enter our password. And then somewhere in this section of code is going to be where we enter our password and it's going to check against what we entered versus what the actual password is. And based off of that output, it's going to either give us access denied or access granted. Here are your credentials. So if we take a closer look at this section right here, we see uh, a string being formed called operator where we're appending different characters to this operator string. And it looks like we're appending the word sample as we can see the S-A-M-P-L-E. So I'm guessing that is going to be our password and we're going to compare that to whatever we enter to see if it matches. So let's go ahead and test this theory by running password manager, entering in our capital S sample, and we see that we get access granted, here are your credentials. 